What's going on everybody? My name is Epic Thunder and I'm going to be playing T Martin today and give you some tips so that you guys can learn how to be good at Call of Duty Ghosts. Except my tips will guarantee that you can get good scores in Ghosts. A little pre-video warning is that this technique may be a little difficult at first, but like everything else in life, practice makes perfect. You have to give this strategy at least an hour before you knock it as something only the pros can do. Trust me, what I'm about to teach you is pretty straightforward. Alright, enough talk, let's jump right in here. Let's start with the class setup. Step 1. Pick a shotgun. Any shotgun. Really doesn't matter which one. I'd advise the Bulldog because it's like the striker from Modern Warfare 3. Overpowered. So in order to make the Bulldog actually overpowered, you have to use the uh, muzzle brake attachment to push your hit range farther out and uh, extended mags to allow for spamming. Oracle ready for We're in the lead. Woof woof motherfucker. My personal favorite is the FPS, partially because the attachments don't matter. The gun's pretty good on its own. But you just don't use that one bullet attachment thing, the thing that makes it towards a single shot, I can't remember the name of it. But uh, that makes it so much more difficult to hit enemy players if you have any ping in the game at all. Not that you can tell anymore, <laughs> Infinity Ward. <laughs> Pick your perks. I really enjoy adding everything to do with speed and reaction time when it comes to customizing my class. Run faster, run forever, weapon ready faster after sprinting, and so on. You can choose whichever perk setup you prefer, but the speed and reaction system works very well with my playstyle and it's really fun. You know, the, the place I'm talking about is where you run around like a chicken with your head cut off. Yeah, that kind of style. Step 3. Pick a pistol. Everyone needs a trusty handgun at their side. When you run out of ammo in your primary, sometimes reloading can just be out of the question. So your secondary can be a very powerful weapon in your arsenal. And if you can develop a woman-pleasing trigger finger, it would be a skill that would help you tremendously in the game. Also, it makes you feel pretty cool whenever you're just firing that fast. Da -da 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 -da. You know, it's pretty cool. Step 5. Figure out what happened to Step 4. We've heard that joke a hundred times, a Okay. Step 6. Learn the maps. Almost every single map in Call of Duty Ghosts offers the ability to go from one side of the map to the other without coming across a single long-range gunfight. You can run cover to cover, find where the enemy team is, and blow them. Away. Blow them away. Stay away from your teammates and try to pull, put yourself behind the enemy team. Shooting noobs in the back is pretty easy. Other than what I just mentioned, there's not really much else to the strategy. Just keep running around with a shotgun, and you'll notice your scores will slowly but surely start to rise. Now, you may think that this video is just a joke, and that I'm trolling all of you. <laughs> He's gotta pull the wool over our eyes on this one. Well, I kind of am, and I'm kind of not. This video is more of less making fun of Call of Duty Ghosts because of how ridiculous the game is, but the strategy I've told you about is 127% legit. Just run around with a shotgun and you'll win more of your gunfights more often. I guarantee it. So if you enjoyed this quick tip video, please show it some love by hitting the like button and leaving a comment below. I'd sure appreciate it if you did. Well, that's all I have for you right now, and with that, Epic Thunder rolling out.